animation basics, which is an activity we can carry out in geometry. So um, basically animations rely upon having a path such as a line segment and a point somewhere on that line segment or path. Um, now, things that you're allowed to use for the paths in ClassPad are the line segment tool, the um, a circle, so tap once, tap twice, an arc of a circle, so that would be constructed using this tool, tap once, tap twice, tap three times to get an arc of a circle for the path. An ellipse, uh, here we go, if we choose um, I think one point, two point, three points to get us an ellipse or a function. So normally we enter those using the function box here and we might have something like x squared maybe as a parabola and then when we say OK there's another path that we could animate a point along. So we always have to remember to put a point or something maybe it could be one end of a line on it. So let's tidy up, file new and start again. Let's get ourselves a circle. So here we go, tap once and um, let's tap over here for the circumference of our circle and let's add a uh, tangent line to the circle. So here we go, draw, construct, tangent to curve and we'll tap on over here. So we've got a point which is connected to a tangent um, and a path all ready to go. So where I, we've got the selection tool. Here we go. We'll select the um, point first. I tend to start with a point. It's easier to find. Then when we tap onto the circle, um, we've got a point and a path. So edit, animate, add animation. And those are the basic steps to create any animation. And to, to watch it go, um, we just tap edit, animate and let's just go um, once but we could repeatedly go once a sort of loop in circles or we could go backwards and forwards we'll go once now notice it starts over here at three o'clock for circles um, and it's going to go around in 20 steps until it gets over to the end here and then it reverts back to its initial position ready to fire up again um, under view there is an animation user interface where we can tap on the uh, slider here to move it around. There are also the controls to go once, to um, repeatedly go, or to go backwards and forwards. Let's try that one out. Here it goes, so it'll go around. And there's also the stop tool, if we want to stop it from doing whatever it's doing. Now, to get a bit more fine control over our animation, sometimes we might, might want to edit our animations. Um, so uh, you can see at the moment we're going in 10 steps, let's change, uh, 20 steps rather, let's change it to 10. And 0 to 1 basically means from the path it's going to go from the beginning to the end. Now if we know it starts over here, maybe we could get ClassPad to start at the top which would be 0 0.25, a quarter of the way around the circle and stop when it gets over to here which is um, a half of the way around the circle. So just to demonstrate how these parameters work. If I tap the cross these changes are made and now let's use our go backwards and forwards tool and you see now it's started at the top and when it gets to the side here 10 steps later it's going to go back the other way. So um, that's that.